Class is now in session, I'm Professor Hockey, and today we will be discussing the performance of some of the Sharks' prospects in the current ongoing rookie tournament hosted by the Anaheim Ducks. So there are six teams involved in this tournament, the Sharks, the Ducks, the Kings, the Golden Knights, the Avalanche, and the Coyotes. The Coyotes were the team the Sharks played tonight. The Sharks won 5-4, to four, but that's not really what's important here. I wouldn't care if the Sharks won this tournament or if they lost this tournament. I mostly just care about how the specific prospects for the Sharks actually performed in the tournament. And that's what I'll be talking about in this video. So first up, uh, I should mention that uh, I did not actually see the first period of this game against the Coyotes. I missed that. I only saw the second and the third period. So everything I'm going to be saying here should be in context of the fact that I only saw two thirds of this game. So I may say a certain player played well or a certain player did not play well. And if you're somebody who watched the entirety of the game, you may end up disagreeing and you may end up being right as well because I didn't see 20 minutes of the game. But just keep that in mind when I give my opinions here. So first of all, I will mention Ryan Merkley, of course, one of the most hyped up Sharks prospect, and he came exactly as advertised in this game. Uh, he showed off immense edge work, very good speed, some solid puck handling skills, his passing was pretty solid as well, so all in all, quite solid offensively, but his defensive game was a pretty big struggle. He seemed to have very little defensive awareness in zone zone. It was nice to see that there was effort in there, but he felt like I felt like he was just chasing the puck a lot, and one thing that was quite detrimental to him and quite concerning actually was how much he was getting out muscled along the boards and just in general I think that's something that he should really put effort into in this next coming season not necessarily his game although he should try and improve his defensive game of course but he should also try and bulk up so he doesn't get out muscled by everybody because if he's getting out muscled by players in this rookie tournament imagine how he is going to be against you know fully grown men in the NHL so not the best game for Ryan Merkley uh, so far in this rookie tournament. Next, I'll sort of put these two players together, Ivan Chekovic and Sasha Shemilevsky, two players who are potentially vying for a spot on the Sharks roster going into this regular season, and both players actually had pretty average games. I'd say Chekovic was probably a bit better than Shemilevsky. Shemilevsky's second period wasn't great, although his third period was pretty solid. Chekovic was mostly average. Neither of these two pl players really stood out to me basically at any point, so that was somewhat disappointing to see, but at least they weren't terrible, I guess would be one way to put it. And there was also nothing that really stood out to me as kind of bad play. Next, I'll mention Joachim Blickfeld, who actually played a very sort of, uh, if there was a player who I was going to compare him to in the NHL, would be Patrick Laine. There wasn't a lot that uh, Blickfield was, you know, doing on the ice impact-wise. There wasn't a lot of moments where I was saying, what a great play by Blickfield to do that. But there were so many opportunities where Blickfield sort of just appeared and got himself lost on the ice to be able to make a great chance happen. Now, he didn't have the shot of Patrick Laine, so he wasn't able to bury on all of these good chances, but he did score a goal. And it did show that you know the reason why he might be a, he was a 50 goal scorer in the WHL now it is a bit disconcerting of course in the NHL when teams have much more structured defensive game would this be something that Blickfield would be able to pull off pretty unlikely I'd say as I said Line is able to do it because of a fantastic shot that Blickfield doesn't really have and so I don't think Blickfield's necessarily the game he showed tonight would be able to pan out into the NHL but it was still pretty interesting to see. Next would be Mario Ferraro, a Sharks defensive prospect, potentially the best player for the Sharks in this particular game. I thought he had the best defensive awareness of any of the six Sharks defensemen who played in this specific game, but that also didn't mean his offensive game was off. It was actually quite good, and he was tasked with playing with Ryan Merkley, which sort of like playing with Brent Burns with the real Sharks uh, is not the easiest thing to do, and yet Ferraro stepped into that role rather well. He showed off some solid speed. He certainly wasn't afraid to pinch up into the play, and yet as I said, his defensive awareness was still very good. So he could potentially be a dark horse for, you know, a player to make it to the Sharks roster as a 7th or 8th defenseman, who knows, but he might just need an, another year in, or not another year, but a year in the AHL to really bring his game up, but he does look promising. Next would be uh, the Sharks goaltender in this game, Andrew Shortridge. Uh, he played pretty well. His game reminds me a lot of Antti Niemi, which gave me a bit of PTSD, I guess I could say. He's, you know, he's down a lot. He's sort of fumbling around a bit. He did lose control of the puck in the crease a few too many times. So it was all in all a pretty average game. He did let in four goals. As I said, the Sharks won 5-4. It wasn't particularly impressive, but 
as it is with goaltenders, you know, he's probably like third, fourth, fifth in line for Sharks goaltenders behind Jones and Dell and Coronar and some of these players. And so uh, he certainly has many, many, uh, a few years at the very least to try and develop into a player who could potentially make it to the Sharks. There are some tools there. He's a bigger goaltender. Uh, but at the moment, there isn't, you know, too much hope for the next couple of years. Uh, and then a couple of players who I do want to mention, uh, Tony Sund number 56 defenseman here in this game I thought was actually quite impressive he had a very good second period I thought his third period was also pretty good he also showed some pretty uh, solid play defensively but also quite impressive offensively he's a player that the Sharks of course signed out of Europe Europe as the Sharks do many many times they managed to do that with Shemek and I wonder if Tony Sun could sort of be like a Shemek 2.0 in being able to maybe sneak his way I don't think there's as much of a room on the Sharks team as there was last season where Ryan really fell off the face of the earth but uh, Sund I'll need to see a few more games from him but there is something there I'd say and another player who I also was pretty impressed with was uh, Thomas Gregoire, another defenseman for the Sharks. He His second period was okay, but his third period was pretty impressive. So him and Sund, not two players I was really expecting to be you know, super high on come the end of this first game in this rookie tournament, but they did impress me pretty heavily. But that will do it for this, I guess, this review, discussion, recap, whatever. The Sharks will be playing against the Anaheim Ducks rookies tomorrow, and we'll see how they all perform then. Class dismissed.